My name is Seordur Kristensson. I'm the PI for the iStop MM study. I'm a professor of hematology at the University of Iceland. I'm very happy to tell you about our first paper from the iStop MM study. The iStop MM is called iStop MM because it stands for Iceland Screens, Treats and or Prevents Myeloma. We are very excited that we have our first publication uh, from this project because it outlines what has been accomplished. It illustrates the great work of Dr. Sigurdur Christensen and his team of now close to 20 people. This project has been running for over four years now. Their participation has not just been fantastic, it has been enthusiastic. So we have 80,000 people, 55% of the Icelandic population, gave informed consent. Well, the overall idea of iStop MM is actually early detection and early intervention. In the case of myeloma, the precursor is something called MGUS, monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance. We want to detect the precursor disease before it becomes a full-blown malignancy. The president of Iceland was actually the first to give informed consent. We can and should and must use all means to advance in the fields of science. In evaluating a scientific project, it's incredibly useful that all of the individuals that are being evaluated have background genetic sequence information available. We're gathering so much data, so many samples, so we have so much clinical information about 80,000 people with or without MGUS. 80,000 individuals is a large number. In fact, it's the largest single country randomized trial that's ever been conducted in the cancer field. The Black Swan Research Initiative, the key research program for the International Myeloma Foundation, has a goal of trying to find a cure for myeloma. And by doing this, we answer the question, does screening for MCOS lead to an improvement in overall survival? This means that we have an opportunity to understand what is triggering this, who is getting this, what are the cofactors, why is this happening, and maybe even have an opportunity to prevent this from happening. Another important question is how do these individuals feel? What's the psychological impact of having a precursor diagnosis of MCOS? The psychological impact of screening is not negative. The ISTOP MM study could not have been done or performed without the generous support from the International Myeloma Foundation. We are just so proud that we are able to support this effort and uh, be able to expect uh, fantastic ongoing outcomes. No one has ever done anything like this before ever. So far it has been a success.